Primera impresión. Spanish for first impression. What was my first impression when I came here to Chile? Good or mm, bad? <laughs> Let's dive into that right now. <laughs> And good morning, and welcome to another beautiful day here in Chile. This view is insane. All of Santiago right behind me, the sun is coming up right over the mountains, and this is what I think of when I think of what was your first impression when you came here to Chile. I think of that airplane ride coming into Chile and seeing the sunrise, seeing the big buildings when you come into Santiago, and my goodness, it is so beautiful. So today we're going to be talking about the good and the bad impressions when we first arrived here to Chile. So let's uh, enjoy this beautiful sunrise and talk first impressions. So when you're flying into Santiago, Chile, I think everyone has that first same impression that the mountains are incredible. You can see the snow on top of the mountains. It's beautiful. Then you land in Santiago and Santiago is surrounded by beautiful mountains. It looks amazing. But now what happens when you walk off of the airplane? Well, the airport is completely redone. It looks beautiful now. I mean, it's not completely done done yet, but it's almost done and it's a beautiful place to land and feel pretty comfortable, I think, with the new airport. Then you come out. And I think that this is where the real first impression happens in any place that you go to, because you come out and you think, um, uh, I'm a little confused. Everything's in Spanish. I mean, you can kind of feel that in the plane and in the airport, but really when you're outside, not that many people are going to be speaking to you in English. And there are a lot of people that are asking you to come with them in the taxi and a big line of people waiting to pick up others. And it's kind of chaotic. So maybe my next impression would be chaos because not because of Chile, just because of there's just a lot of people. Santiago is huge, 8 million people, and there are maybe 20 million people that live in all of Chile, so almost half of Chile lives in this city that I'm in right now. And there's so much to explore here in Santiago, but I think that the majority of people come to Chile, at least tourists, oh, tourism, come back, please, I wanna go travel. But most people would get on another plane or they would go from that airport in bus or rent a car and go travel around Chile. So impressions then traveling around. I feel like renting a car is super easy, no problem anywhere in the world. Haven't had any problems here in Chile. And then I think if you were to really go and travel and be a real tourist, I mean a gringo tourist, you would maybe fly down to Torres del Paine and go and explore the mountains and the Torres. It's so incredibly beautiful. And uh, the flight from Santiago to Torres del Paine, that's probably the way to go, although the Carretera Austral is something that's been on my bucket list for many, many years, and maybe one day I'll be able to do it. But at the same time, you need a lot of time to do it. So you fly from Santiago Airport down to Torres del Paine, beautiful, nobody is there. Santiago, there's tons of people, it's a big city, it's where everything happens. If you wanna try foods from around the world, if you want to uh, get a taste of Chile and have some different foods from around Chile, absolutely, this is a great place to do it. And then fly back and no problem, there's a big international airport here, no problem. But. I think the bigger thing for tourism here in Chile is to travel outside of Santiago and then go to different places. And for me, that's the beauty of Chile. That's why I love living in Linares. If you didn't see that video, go and check that one out. Link is right below and also right above. You can go check that out. But Linares, places outside of Santiago are so incredibly beautiful because, I mean, there's just 
there's so much to see. When you see in the plane as you are landing in Santiago, you can see all of the mountains. The mountain range, the Andes, go all the way down throughout Chile. You can go up into the mountains really easily, just go rent a car, and there are buses and public transportation that can also go there. And then, at the same time, you've got, uh, you've got the ocean, which is also absolutely beautiful and you can do surfing. Pichilemu is a great place to do that and there's tourism all over the place. So first impressions are it's beautiful, the mountains are amazing. When you land it's uh, kind of chaotic and crazy. You get on a bus like I did and I saw that there's a difference, a huge difference between wealthy and poor and you can definitely notice, I think uh, if my parents come here this will be the first thing that they notice, is graffiti. Graffiti in the States is something really, really bad. You never put graffiti anywhere. Here in Chile, it's, uh, it's kind of common. You take graffiti and you spray paint stuff and there's cool designs in Bea Vista, really beautiful artwork. And there's some good and some not so good things that are on walls and being displayed. For me, I think it's a beautiful part of the culture. You go to Bea Vista, you go to different parts and you can see the different artwork. In Linares, you can see this big mural of Crin uh, from Rowdy and it's really, really beautiful. There's some really cool artwork done by spray paint. But you definitely notice that being from the United States and graffiti is, you cannot do it. There is no way you'll have a huge fine if you are caught with graffiti. So that's another first impression. And then, I mean, you can get to really nice hotels. You can get to, I mean, more affordable hotels, I suppose. Right now I'm at the AC hotels and you have to pick whether you wanna to go to location in a perfect location or do you wanna go outside of the city. And for me, I like being right downtown. I like to pay just a little bit extra for a place that I feel comfortable in because of course, when you come to a foreign country, you're out of your element. You're in a different place. You don't know where you're going. Everything is new. The language is new. It's nice to have a safe, nice place to come to. So AC Hotels is right next to the Costanera Center. And you can actually go to the top. The building's like right there. And you can go to the top of it, have a beautiful view of the city uh, from even higher than I'm at right now. But uh, for me, I really like coming to a nice, safe spot that I feel really comfortable in. And that's really important for me when I come to and visit other countries. But first impressions of Chile, the food was amazing. I love the food, it was so, so good. Anything that was put in front of me, I blah, blah, blah. The other impression is that you have to know Spanish. We moved almost directly to Linares, a smaller town south of Chile, about three and a half hours south of where I'm at right now in Santiago. And um, I, uh, I wish that I knew more Spanish and I really need to learn more Spanish now. I'm looking for places to do that and learn some more Spanish and uh, hopefully be a little bit better when I'm on TV and talking in Spanish. Oh, it's so embarrassing. But that's all a part of learning a language. You have to put yourself out there. You have to try. I've definitely been trying, but with this pandemic and not being able to go outside, you guys know, it's, uh, it's a hard knock life. It's tough. It's, it's really tough to be here in quarantine. In Linares, we've been in quarantine for seven weeks now, and it's, uh, it's not very fun. But what is fun is being able to talk to you guys, making different videos. I hope that you're enjoying this. Leave some comments below of different video ideas that you have. I can always think of different ideas, but I love making ideas from what you guys think of as well. I have a long list of ideas and I just wrote, write them all down on a piece of paper and go through them and talk about them and have fun with them. But right now, I'm, uh, I'm kind of hungry. The sun is up, it's time to, uh, time to eat some breakfast. But I hope you enjoyed this little video for today. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. Check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All of those links are right below. And we'll see you guys next time for another adventure. And thank you guys so much for following me, liking, commenting. You guys are amazing. Truly, thank you. But we'll see you guys next time for another adventure. And for now, from this beautiful AC hotel in Santiago with this beautiful view and the sunrise right behind me. Chop this cow.